Welcome to Beer Barbecue Baseball. This is Matt. And we're going to have Krabby's Original Alcoholic Ginger Beer. Malt beverage with natural flavors and caramel color added. 4.8% alcohol by volume. 11.2 fluid ounces. So, what else? No. Real ginger steeped for up to six weeks. Hmm. So I don't know that that means anything. Up to six weeks, it could have been up steeped for an could hour. Have been two I guess. weeks. Two weeks. Whatever. And a lot of people say. Flavored beer, a fruit beer, a ginger beer, a cider is not a beer. So I'd like to see what you think about that. It says right on here, a ginger beer. I have a problem calling some ciders, some fruity drinks beer, but what is this? I guess legally it's a beer, but what are your thoughts? Mm. No, it's over here. It looked a lot darker, but. Oh, here it's a little more golden, dark golden, but on your side it's pretty clear, pretty carbonated. The smell is true ginger. Yeah. I mean, it smells like I'm walking into a sushi restaurant and getting the, the corner of my plate. <laughs> yeah, that's all you get on the aroma, that's for sure. I don't know about Matt, but I love ginger beers, alcoholic or non-alcoholic. Um, this one I think is particularly good. It's actually the first one I've had with alcohol already in it. Um, usually I pour my own alcohol in it, but really smooth. You might get a little ginger bite there at the beginning, but to me, not so much at the end. No, it's one super smooth. I have had some ginger beers that are alcoholic ginger beers. Usually, what was this one? 4.8%? Usually they're low, around 4, 4.2, and they seem really harsh, the ones I've had before. This one is really smooth. I mean, you're not going to hide the ginger, which is a strong, overpowering flavor, but but it's actually it's blended in well with this. Yeah. It says, Krabby's original alcoholic ginger beer is made to a unique recipe of exotic spices combined with fresh ginger, shipped from the Far East, and steeped for up to six weeks to produce its deep, deliciously spicy flavor. Contains sulf sulfites. Oh man, we should have read that first. Oh man. Oh well. And, um... There's also, you're not supposed to drink it during pregnancy. So, hmm. best served chilled with ice and lemon. Wow. So, a uniquely refreshing experience only for grown ups. Damn it. So, so Jesse bought this one. So, since I got it for free, I would definitely have another. Um, that's the only issue with ginger beers. Sometimes the really good ones do come at a premium. And this was what, probably a four pack instead of a six pack? I, uh, yeah, I can't remember to be honest with you. I want to say it was a four pack. I don't remember where I got it. I don't know how much it was. Um, but it couldn't have been too expensive, otherwise I probably wouldn't have bought it. Yeah. So I am very pleased with this. As, as Jesse said, I take a lot of non-alcoholic ginger beers. They're a good mixer. Um, but, you know, this one stands on its own. It's... Uh, I'd have this with a meal, I'd have this on its own, and I'd be happy with it. What, what is this thing here on the side of the bottle? It's their little elephant logo, 1801. So, Edinburgh is the brewery established 1801. The raised. Well, if anything, at least our pot is going to be cleansed before our yeah. next beer. United Kingdom, 
supported by St. Killian. Yeah, it, I mean, you get a true ginger. It says spicy flavor, but it's the ginger. Yeah. It's not a false anything. It's it's definitely, if you like ginger at all, this is, this is a nice, good, sweet ginger beer. Yep, I agree. Well, I've rated this uh, on untapped. Man, I think I gave it a four. I was going to say four. It's better than any alcoholic ginger beer that I've had. Um, you get into the argument, do you rate it lower? Because it's not truly a beer, but you know what? For what it is, you know what you're buying, and I think it's, it's very good. Yeah. All right, well, we recommend it. If you see it around, grab it. Um, it looks like there's some more in there. Let us know what you thought if you've had it, and you all have a good night.